Welcome to Beyond Java Section 4. In this section, we'll be dealing with MySQL database. Now, in the first video, we'll be using the MySQL database, and in particular, I'll be taking you through the installation. Now, what I'd like you to do is, if you haven't already downloaded this, go to the MySQL download page. Right, once you've arrived at this page, then select Windows Install. And here you'll be provided with two options. Select this bottom one, the Installer Community Edition 8.19, and we'll download this. Now, even though it said 32-bit, uh, it works with a 64-bit, so not to worry. We'll say no thanks. Just start my download. And please save that to a directory that you are familiar with and we can go ahead and save it so here we are at where i have saved the installer and what we'll do is we'll double click on that so let's go through this together right so let's accept the license agreement let's choose a setup and we'd like to leave the default which is for developer following products have failing requirements if yours do that's fine, just go next. And these products have not been installed, that's fine. Okay, now you'll see that there's a list here. The server, the workbench shell, the router, etc., etc. Those are all fine, we can just execute this. Now what it'll do is it'll download all of these components. Right, now once uh, all the components have been downloaded and the status is complete, that means everything has now been installed. And what we can do is then go to next. And what it'll now do is it'll configure the server and the router. So here we go. And we're going to be using it as a standalone so that we can just develop on our own machines. Uh, we'll leave the server configuration as standard. We'll use TCP IP and the, please take note of the port. We'll leave the standard 3306. Okay, authentication. Uh, you can use strong encryption for authentication if you want to it can present its problems if you're used to the old legacy system i would suggest that for development purposes that we do this you can change it if you'd like to or leave it as is but anyway i think change it just for the sake of development okay then what you need to do is create a root password and don't forget the password otherwise you're going to have a bit of a problem so I'm just going to put a root password in. Uh, it's going to be very short and it's obviously going to be weak. I'll also add another user. And I'll give that user a password too. So I've got a root user and I've also got a general user. And I'll go to next. Now it's going to ask you to start the server at your system startup, which I'm going to allowed to happen um, you can control this if you want to once it is started up now what it's going to do is going to write all the configuration so let it execute that it'll take a little bit of time to initialize the database right now we have finished that okay we don't have to worry about the router we'll just say finish uh, we can do a check on this so I can type in my root password, I can check, and it's obviously successful because a connection was made. So it's running as a service, and the connection has been made. So everything is A-OK. -okay. I can apply this configuration. It'll run all the appropriate scripts. And it, once that has happened, everything is now in order. OK we can start the workbench um, i don't think we need to start the shell you can deselect that and say finish and you will see now that the mysql workbench will now start up and here is mysql workbench what you can do is you can log into the workbench again i'll use my root password in this particular case so we'll log in and here you can do a number of things and we'll investigate this once we get up and running so here is the complete installation 
we should be okay. I will test this next at the command line. So I will show you how to test it at the command line. One last thing before we actually go to the command line is what you need to do is locate where MySQL was installed. And in fact, I think for the majority of us uh, on Windows, it'll be installed in program files, MySQL, MySQL server, bin. So here, what you want to do is you want to copy that. And what we want to do is we want to set the environment variable, the path environment variable to include this particular path. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy that. And then I'm going to go to the environment variable. So I'll go to the environment variable. And I'd like to edit this. So I'd like to edit the path. And what I can do is colon and go OK. OK. And OK. Now, once I've done that, then I think it would be appropriate to go to the command line. Right, let's go to the command line and investigate how we can use and communicate with MySQL. Right, what you want to do at the command line is type the follow. Minus U for user, and my user is root. And then minus P for password, and then type in your password. And then what you should do is you, you should see the client running. This is the client, and it's connecting to the service. So it's connecting to the database service. And that then concludes the installation. So we know that Workbench is working, and we also know that the command line client program is working and can connect to the actual server.